Back in the kitchen, our second chef, Scotland's Tom Kitchen, is raring to go. You're all relaxed, everything's going fine, then suddenly you're on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, I'm an idiot. Like Glyn, Tom's entirely changing this dish. Deciding late last night to do carpaccio of octopus with Scottish shellfish and radishes. I didn't think the pike was going to was going to win the competition, so I've got to put something in there that I think is going to win. They fly by the seat of their pants, these boys, don't they? Tom's going for broke too. You've got to push yourself all the time. When you stop pushing yourself, you're going to you're going to go stale, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. You know, this is we're, we're young chefs. We're uh, we're hungry. We're on fire at the moment. Oh, we've, yeah, we've, yeah. we've got to, sure? we've got we've got to push the boundaries, Glenn. Glyn can relax now and watch Tom preparing the octopus, scallops, langoustine and razor clams. It's a completely different style to his. Yeah, it's a lot of attention to detail. Uh, I can smell the flavours coming over, you know. It really, yeah. really is nice. As much as I love the cooking, that you know, the foams and all this, this is, this is what I'm all about. You yeah, know, yeah, the, yeah. The, the natural product and yeah. the, natural, the natural cooking. It's unfortunate I don't get razor clams uh, just over the back in Birmingham. You get them in the canals? No, unfortunately not. No. So, Glynn played to his native wit, while Tom's banking on Scottish seafood. You couldn't get two more different dishes uh, going off the same hot plate, could you, really? Yeah. Tom's dish is almost ready. He layers the shellfish with the chopped radishes and a sprig of celery cress. But does it have the modern touch, like Glynn's? I'm just going to cut it back a wee bit there. I don't want to be just the size for making it too big, you know what I mean? Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. OK. Thank you. Lovely, mate. Well done. All right. Yeah, Thank you. Very, very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Should be proud of that. The pike fisherman's going to be a bit aggrieved, but... I think we both made the right decision now, mate. <laughs> well done. Cheers. So Tom, too, has completely abandoned his fish course from the heats and bravely come up with a new dish overnight. Oh, that looks lovely. That is absolutely... Doesn't that look beautiful? And it smells fantastic. I think wonderful. He, I think he's just sort of gone out and you know, gathered everything off the Scottish seashore and put it on the plate. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I think that octopus is absolutely delicious. Considering this dish was put together, what, since is it half past ten last night? Mm. Right. I think we actually should throw out more of the earlier dishes and get them to really work on the hoop. Start on the <laughs> start again. I can't believe the same chef cooked those two dishes. <laughs> I mean, this is just so delicious and well judged and mm. perfectly flavoured and looks pretty. Do we think this is British? I don't think this octopus is particularly British. When I heard of the dish, I would, uh, I mean, you know, it's a classic dish I would expect to eat in Italy during the summer. Mm. I, uh, but, however, when the cloche came off, I think he's, uh, he's made it his own. I think the quality of this cooking would impress anybody, but it's not particularly innovative. I mean, Lots of chefs try to do this, few of them do it this well. I think it's very interesting in, in, in this competition so far is he's been one of those chefs where we've only thought great things about, you know what I mean? And I, I think this sort of dish is a testimony to his, to his skill. A largely positive reaction to Tom's new dish. But will his rivals think it's an overnight sensation too? I really love his cooking. A clever young guy. I think he's put his balls on the line and, and you know. But he's a ballsy guy, Tommy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. He's got a lot of experience, so he yeah. knows what he's doing. I was a bit worried when I heard, you know, Carpaccio of Octopus, because I'm, I was sort of, I was sitting in Kentishire there in the summer, thinking, oh my God. And however, what he did come up was an extremely high quality dish prepared at short notice.